Hello everyone, welcome back to My Hero Academia Reading Text Stories. The new text story I'm reading now is Deku X number one villain, which is Izuku X is death. And this text story is made by Pink Oreo Stories. So make sure you subscribe to his channel and give him credit. He makes a lot of good text stories. And I must say, I love his thumbnails. Yeah, so it's basically like a new series he's working on Demon Slayer Deku, which is Izuku X Setsuna from Class 1B. I'll check that out soon after I complete reading Deku X is death text story. Because one thing that bugs me is that some text stories they change Midoriya's appearance, like this one right here. Deku X Aizawa's daughter, which is Akami by the way, and they change his appearance. Like look at him. Can I ask you guys, um, why do you change Midori's appearance when you're making your text stories? I'm curious. Like I know that you want to make Midoriya cool or something like that, but every time I see Midoriya in different appearances, I feel like I'm looking at a different character that has the same name, but it's not Midoriya that we know. I kind of hate that, so I just wish that people would start changing Deku's appearance. I just happy enough the way he looks just like in the anime of My Hero Academia. Anyway, enough talk, let's get started. So in this, there are a lot of heroes who are corrupt meaning they want to be heroes for money and fame and don't really care about the people. Same for the government since they also want to keep control and power. Okay so in this day all the heroes just don't care about people, they care about money and fame. Lastly, Izuku's height is 5'9". I also hate how they change his height as well. Training, watching him. Good jump Midoriya. Now let's see how high you can jump. Jumps up, that's pretty high up. Throw and punch at your highest percent. One for all, smash. Punches in the air and the wind blows a good amount. Not my level of strength, but he's progressing it. Come backs down to the ground and is in front of all might. Great job young Midoriya. You're progressing great. You should be able to hit 100% by the end of the first semester. Balls is fist, I'll make you proud all oh my. You mean more than I already am. Smiles and puts arms around him and walks. Walking with All Might. We still need to work on the other quirks, but so far you handled them really good. Yeah, I feel like I have black whip and smoke screen down. Yes, you mastered them and not to mention, you have float down too. Yeah, but I still have to get a feel for the others. You will, young Midoriya. I know you will. Both sees a black car drive up to them. Who could this be? Who is that All Might? I'm not sure. They both see an agent come out of the car. Hello All Might, who are you? I'm a government agent for all the hero agencies. The higher ups and the other pro heroes will like to meet with you. So will you be so kindly to come with me? Nods, okay. Yo Midoriya, go back to the dorms and rest. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay, oh my. About to get into the car and do not show up late again. Get some rest. I will. Uses float and jumps back to the dorms, smiles and leaves, gets to the meeting, sees Aizawa at midnight, signals All Might to sit next to him. After the meeting, walks out of the room with Aizawa at midnight. What kind of meeting was that? I know right? They were only worried about sales of how they can have them hire, and the other pro heroes in the meeting it's as if they don't even care about the people. They don't know, but we have a bigger situation than sales. We do. The number one villain in the world. Why would she be coming to Japan? Who knows, but we have to find out and stop her. They're talking about is death. Stop her. We can't even catch the League of Villains. How do we stop her? We try anything. It doesn't matter. Do you really want her to take over? No, exactly. But who will help? Yeah, Aizawa. You heard those pros in there. They all get into Midnight's car. They don't care about anyone but themselves. They will save themselves before even thinking about helping a kid. Well, how about you help me figure out a plan? You're retiring at the worst of times, All Might. Does that help? No. Does Midoriya even know? He doesn't. Well then. That's the plan. What is? We train the next generation. We have to get UA strong enough to get them. 
and since you barely have any power left, Midoriya needs to be able to use 100% to even stand a chance. What happens if she joins the League of Villains? Well then, that's another problem we'll have to face. All for one is in no condition to fight so we don't have to worry about him. Besides, I doubt she will even join them. She stands alone and has her own army. True. It is actually true. In a Kamiga kill, she has like her own army. All Might, you must train Midoriya so we can even have a chance against her. Because even if the hero society is messed up now, we can still fix it by training these young future heroes. And it all starts with your boy, Boss's Fist. I know. I know young Midoriya will be ready. He will stop her. I hope he can be the next symbol of peace and truly stand for what a hero is supposed to be. Later on, somewhere else, on the plane, there she is. My queen bows down to her. Can you see I'm busy thinking? Scared. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. What do you want? We are about to land in Japan shortly. How long? 15 minutes, my queen. Good. Okay, get out of here before you make me mad. Least quick. Walks into the room. Oh, it's muscular. May I sit my queen? Bows down to her. No, you're my bodyguard. Understood. Stands next to her. And that's surprising to see muscular as a bodyguard to his death. All for one and the League of Villains. I guess I'll take them down while I'm here. Maybe a few heroes, but only if they're strong. Smiles. Hopefully, you all do not disappoint me. At the government's office. This will be good for me to keep my power. Oh, that's the Prime Minister, the guy that, from the Akami Gakil series. And keep all the people of Japan on my side. Creepily smiles and eats drumstick. He heroes are going to keep me in power and they don't care as long as they get some spotlight and money, they're fine. But with that hero killer killing the heroes, I'll drop. It's death. I want you to take care of that for me. Of course, as you wish. Thank you. You should also be fighting strong opponents just like you want. Yes, and hopefully I can take enjoyment in that. Is something the matter? Well, I am a teenager and it's not that I care about doing teenage things, but I want to feel I don't know what it is. Feel, feel. You mean love? I think so. I want to be with a man that makes me smile. It's strong. And it's handsome. That is what I want. It shouldn't be too hard. You are a beautiful young woman. The only problem is you'll have to find a villain that will want you the same as you wanting them. Your repetition may not be what a hero wants. So I wish you the best of luck. And also, if there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Yes sir, thank you. And leaves. Heroes nowadays looks as bad as me, just wanting spotlight and money. Now a shame. Hopefully I find a man I am looking for. Somewhere else. Stabs hero through the chest. The hero dies. All they want is money. There isn't any more heroes like how they used to be. There aren't any more that just want to save people. They all change even villains. All villains have the same goal, take down the heroes hypothetic, all for recognition. Only All Might and All For One are true to themselves. I'll take down anyone I don't see fit, walks away. Next day, even though All Might and All For One, they fight each other when they meet. At school, with the training I did before school, this morning, I can use one for all at 80% now yes. Sitting down at his desk and sees Uraka. Hey Uraka. Oh hey Deku. Goes to him. So still want to go out to eat tonight and we can also go see a movie? Smiles. Oh um, I can't tonight. Again? Yeah, it's girls night and we're already going to see a movie. Oh, okay. Why do we have a bad feeling she is cheating on him? Bakugo walks into the classroom. Hey Deku, when I get back, can we talk tonight? Um, sure. What's wrong? Oh no, that's not good. It's about us. I'll tell you more tonight. Walks away. What could that mean? I really like Uraka. I hope everything is okay with us. Wakes up. Okay everyone, listen up. We will be having a fighting tournament next week to see how far you all improve. 
So train hard because we have very serious things coming our way. What do you mean, Mr. Aizawa? Well, I know you all have heard about Stain, the hero killer, correct? Yes, sir. Hero killer is doing the right thing. Like, you know, there are some big belt heroes that care about money and fame. They say that he doesn't respect hero or villains on how they do things. Yeah, like he said that the hero society is and is corrupt and only want money and fame. Is that true, Mr. Aizawa? Of course not. It actually is true. There are some fake heroes that care about money and fame. But there are also some true heroes, like Izuku Midoriya. Heroes protect the city and people and all villains want to do is ruin that. Hmm, well I guess I can see what Stain means, but killing still isn't right. Only if you really knew, but you all are not ready for the truth and for the second news that's happening. The number one villain, Is Death, has come to Japan. Is Death, she's taken out many cities and countries. What is she doing here, Mr. Aizawa? We still aren't sure, but everyone be careful and there will not be a curfew even earlier. Now let's begin class. Takes out no book. Oh yeah, and All Might is retiring. Turns to the board. What? After class, goes to All Might's office. Knocks. Come in. Opens door. You're retiring? Oh, so you heard. It's all over the internet and Aizawa has told us. How come I didn't know this or you didn't tell me? I was planning to, but I didn't know how you would take the news. I'm sorry, young Midoriya. It's okay, All Might. Come have a seat. Sit down in chair. Have you heard the news about his death? I have. How dangerous is she really? Very dangerous and cold blooded too. Yep, you all remember how she was in Akami Gakil. She tortures people and takes down other armies, not to mention she has one of her own. She even around the same age as you, which means we have to stop her now. She's my age? That's crazy. Exactly. We also have to take down Stain, the hero killer? Hey All Might. Can I ask you something? Sure, anything. What do you think about Stain? Do you really think the hero society is corrupt? He's not ready. Of course not, young Midoriya. Just look at me. The symbol of peace and you are next. We need to get you ready. Okay, All Might. And I believe in you, All Might. I believe in you too, young Midoriya. Okay, so starting tonight, I want you to patrol and take out any low-level thugs. Got it. Leaves. I will tell you the truth soon, enough young Midoriya. Later on that night, looks at his phone. Uraka still hasn't texted me back. Looks like I'll just go on patrol. Uses float quirk and is soaring high up through the air. Looking down and sees a man in an alley. What's going on on top of a building? Looking down, it's a hero. Stabs hero through the arm. Stain. You fake hero. Jumps down. Stop there. Turns around. Don't worry sir, I'll save you. You shouldn't be trying to play hero kid. Yeah, and you shouldn't be killing heroes. I'm getting rid of the fakes. Whatever it is, you shouldn't kill. Rushes him. He's fast, dashes to the right and runs past him. I missed. Gets the hero and moves him away. He's getting him to safety. Stay here. Looks at hero. Looks at Stain. I won't let you hurt anyone else. It all stops right here. I like you. You have real potential other than all these fakes. Rushes him again. Dodges. Wait a minute. Goes to the pro hero. Damn it. He tricked me. Holds knife up to the hero's neck. No, don't kill him. Tell him. Tell the boy the truth. Please, I, I don't want to die. Then tell him. I'm sorry kid, us pro heroes are only heroes for money. Shocked. No, don't let him make you say that. It's true, it's why Stain hunts heroes like us dying. We are fakes, I won't lie. When I became a hero, I only sought after the money, fame and every other perks that come with it. It's the easiest way to become a celebrity and I took it for granted. Shocked, get stone on the floor. Since I see so much potential in you, I won't harm you at least for now. Anyways, just don't get in my way. And don't become what heroes nowadays are or I'll come for you next. Leaves. Injured. Don't you worry Stain. Midoriya will not be like them. Goes to the pro hero and picks him up. 
leaves and the hospital about to leave. Wait, kid. Lane died in hospital bed. Stops. Thank you for... Save it. I don't trust or believe in you anymore. Leaves. Back at the dorms. Sees a text from Uraka saying to come to her room. Goes to her room. Hey, Deku. Hey, Uraka. Is something wrong? It's, well, you go first. Are you sure? Of course. Well, I wanted to tell you I think we should be better off as friends. Friends, why? Oh, no. It's just that I like you better as a friend. But we had something so well going on. Don't you want that to continue? I do, just as friends. But I don't understand. My feelings are all over the place right now. Can we just be friends for now? Please, if that's what you want, okay. Thank you for understanding, Deku. Walks out of her room and goes to his. Opens his room door and closes it. Puts his back against the door and slides door sitting on the floor. First I find out the truth about heroes, then my girlfriend breaks up with me. I wonder what's next. Falls asleep shortly after and night is the next day. Sitting down. So Midoriya and Uraka were actually dating. But Uraka wants to break up with them so they can become friends. How pathetic. I thought the script will pose as more as a threat. I guess wrong. Bowing down to her knees. You bastard. I'll kill you. Shigaraki, I suggest do not mess with his death. Yeah, with 8 out of all 10 of your fingers frozen, how do you stand as a threat? Stands up, kicks him hard in the face, spits blood and is now laying on the floor. You will die before you even get a chance to. But before I kill you, I need to have fun torturing you. One hour later, Oh god, the torturing, that is the worst. About dead and barely breathing. I'm so bored. This is exactly why I want a lover. Miss is death? What is it? I'm in the middle of torturing someone, can't you tell? Um, I have good news. Then say it. There will be an event at UA High School. A fighting tournament. A tournament? Why? I'm not sure, Miss is death. They haven't said to the public. Okay, and why are you telling me this? Because most of the boys there are your age and you can maybe find a lover there. Okay, that is good news. Goes to him, but if I don't find someone, then your head will be mine to put up on my wall. Walks away. It's so scary. Please, I hope this goes well. Thank God I'm not a soldier with his death. Goes into All Might's office. Young Midoriya. What brings you here? All oh my, have you ever failed to save someone? No, never. So you're true to yourself. Why do you ask? No reason. Only All oh Might is a true hero. Stain was right. The tournament is next week. Think you're ready? Yeah, I can use almost 85% now. That's good. Almost 100. Hey All Might, what is it young Midoriya? Can you tell me what a true hero is or what they are supposed to be? Supposed to be? Every hero all has the desire to help and save people. Every hero. Yes, of course. They wouldn't be heroes for no other reason. Are you sure? Not even for money, fame and power? Where is all this coming from? I'm just asking. So what's your answer? No, not even for money, fame or power. Just the good from the heart. I see. Thanks All Might. Leaves. He's onto something. All Might the one man I trusted even lied. Okay, today is the tournament and I can use 90% of one for all. So I should win easy. Walking. But I shouldn't underestimate anyone. Sees Uraka leave a room. Why did she come out of Bakugo's room? Goes to her. Uraka. Jumps up. Oh Deku, it's you. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about us. Right now. But the tournament will start soon. I know, but it will be fast. I just, I already missed spending time with you. Please, Uraka, can we at least try to make it work? I can't thank you. Why, am I good enough for you? I care about you. Let's talk another time. Tries to walk away, grabs her wrist. Can we just talk? Let go of me. I just want to know. Please, Uraka. I love someone else. Shocked and let's go. I'm sorry Deku, I just don't have feelings for you. But I still want to be friends, please. I was not expecting that. I actually knew you after all, but I was just thinking that I could be wrong. But 
I guess I'm right. Just tell me, is the person you love? Don't worry about that. I will tell you another time. Walks away, frozen and shocked. I have nothing to lose in this tournament. Everything is just going downhill. All might smile pride, huh? Leaves. In that disguise, no one should recognize me in this outfit. How do I look? Um, I don't even know who you are. Good answer. Anything else and I would have fed you to some wolves. Gulps. Watches the tournament. First fight is Kirishima versus Tetsu Tetsu. What a boring match. Oh, I get nice. So it's just like the Kamika Kill tournament, where as Death is watching men fighting, and that's when she falls in love with Tatsumi. But instead, it's the sports festival she's watching, and that's when she'll be in love with Midoriya. What do you think about the boy with the red hair? Nice, but his quirk doesn't really catch my eye. Same for the other one. Next fight is Mina versus Asui. Watching, do you have interest in girls? What is that supposed to mean? You think I can't find a boy for me? N no, it's not that at all. <laughs> I'm just wanting to spread out some options. Still mad? Nope, I want a boy. Yes, ma'am, of course. Next fight is Bakko versus Manoma. Watching. What about the one that can copy quirks? No. He doesn't have the smile I'm looking for. What smile are you looking for? I want a man with a smile that makes everyone feel happy, safe and of course, good looking. I want one where he is pride. That guy with the copy quirk has a cocky smile. That makes me want to freeze him below zero. <laughs> So the blonde one with the explosions is a no to you? Yes, because he has way too many angry problems. <laughs> Next fight is Todoroki vs Ada. That is true, he does get angry all the time. Dagger you bastard! You damn nerd! Always like that. The half and half quirk is Endeavor's son. What about him? No, he doesn't smile at all. What about the runner? No. Last fight of the first round is Midoriya vs Kaminari. The electric one doesn't seem bad. Let's see. Sorry to do this to you, Midoriya. Rushes him. Looks like I'll be able to hold back for Kaminari. Punches him. Why would he not use his quirk? Instead of punching, like it would have been better if he used his quirk. Or maybe he put electric on his fist to punch him, to shock him. Dodges and jumps up without going high. Still punching him. He won't be able to dodge in the air. Still dodging with ease. That green boy has some skill, yes. Yes he does, let's see how this plays out. Kicks Kaminari back, fall back and gets up. Just back to a good distance. I didn't want to do this but looks like I'll have to fight from mid range. Sorry Deku, again, 1 million bolts. Use his quirk, oh for god's sake he's gonna go dumb. Just wait for it, he is gonna be dumb. <laughs> Jumps high so the electricity won't hit him. I told myself I would hold back, I will only use 50%. Flexes fingers and a lot of wind blows Kamarnari back. Gets blown back easily, out of bounds. Lands on ground and ref says Midoriya is the winner. All cheering. Kamarnari is probably dumb right now. Yay! I swear that never gets old. So this is what it feels like for heroes to be in the spotlight. I can't believe this is all they want. I'll change that, but for now I'll just play along. Smiles bright. Is something wrong, Miss Is Death? Go find out more about that boy with that just one. Yes, ma'am. Leaves. Midoriya. Walking back to the waiting to wait for his next match. Standing by the door, sees her and goes to her. Uraga. Deku, great job on your match against Kaminari. I just want to say good luck on your next one. Tries to walk away. Stands in front of her. Deku, why? Why don't you want to be with me anymore? I told you already. Who is the guy? Walks past him. Please Deku. I'm sure you will. Is it Bakugo? Stops. It is, isn't it? I saw you walk out of his room. Why can't you just tell me why? It is him, okay? I like Bakugo. I'm sorry Deku. Leaves. After all the billowing and the way he treated me, you go to him. I guess the people just why the ones who have more popularity. She must see him as a future hero. Goes to his death. You're finally back. Yes ma'am. Did you find out anything? Yes ma'am. His name is Izuku Midoriya. Class 1A. He is a first year here and is age 16. 
and there's also a top 3 student in class in terms of skill and power. Really, you find all that out? Yes, it wasn't hard. They have basic information over on the wall. I see. The final fight in the tournament is Izuku versus Bakugo getting ready to fight. Oi Deku, know that I'm going to blast you into tomorrow. Match begins. That's okay, Kachan. I'm not holding back. One for all. 100% smash. And there you go. He managed to use 100%. I don't know if he had fully control on it yet. He must have used it to beat the crap out of Bakugo. Throws a punch with so much power, Bakugo get blown back into the crowd. In the crowd and everyone else around him getting pushed by the wind. Breathing heavy. <laughs> he ended the match. It wasn't even 30 seconds. M Midoriya with wins. Smiles again. I won. Stares at Midoriya and stands up. Him. He's the one. Miss Esdeath, we must go. I know where this is going. You all remember what happened in Akami Ga Kill, Tatsume's battle against that giant bull man. He threw a punch so hard, the weather changed. Y yes, let's go. Leaves. Izuku Midoriya, you will be mine. Later on that day, walking around, drives up to him in a car. Stepside, sir, will you be so kindly as to come with us? Who are you? Gets knocked out. Catches him before he can fall. You're coming with me. Puts him in the car and drives away. Four hours passed. Wakes up. Huh? Sees a chain around his neck. What is this? It's a chain. Looks and sees her. Is death? Oh, so you know who I am. Hugs him. I'm so happy. Well, what am I doing here? Oh, you're my lover. What? Yeah, I was looking for a man that I can love and you so happen to be him. You have everything I'm looking for. Well, Midoriya, it's your lucky day. Ever since I saw you at the tournament, I couldn't take my eyes off of you. It was love at first sight, confused and surprised. Don't worry, Izuku. I won't let anyone stand between us. i always be on your side. Um, do I get a say in this? What is there to say? Um... I need to get out of here. And why did my webcam stop recording? Ah, uh, I won't bother. Leave it be for now. Can I use the bathroom? Use the bathroom? Yes, I need to take a shower because of how sweaty I am. Oh well, the bathroom is over there. Text Cheng off. Th thank you. Very smart idea to use the bathroom. Because there is a chance that you can use the window to jump out. Sits in the bed. Hurry back, my love. I'll be waiting. Goes into the bathroom. Nice, a window. Waiting on the bed. Maybe I should just join him. Here's a window break. What was that? Goes to the bathroom and sees he is gone. Hmm, playing hard to get. I like that, Izuku. I will find you. Using float. No hero or anyone noticed I was gone for so long. It's crazy how everything is changing, but I'm starting to understand more. Sees another hero in trouble and goes to them. About to kill the hero and looks back. What is? It's you. Stain. That's the end of part 1. That is part 1 of Deku X number 1 villain. Yeah, so basically when Esdeath is at the sports festival watching the UA students in battle so that she can find someone that she loves, which is Midoriya. So basically, it's just like the Agami Kakil tournament battle when Tatsumi defeats that bull man and right after Tatsumi defeated him and he smiles while saying, this is awesome. And that's when Iste starts to fall in love with Tatsumi. So it's happening to Midoriya where he defeated, well first off is Deki Kamenori and that's when he smiles and waves at the crowd and that made Iste fall in love with Midoriya. After the final battle, when he defeated Bakugo with one punch and Esdeath says he's the one just like she said in Agami Ga Kill. Okay anyway guys I hope you enjoy this and make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I don't know why my webcam stopped recording out of nowhere it just somehow stopped recording while I was reading this text story of part one of Deku X Esdeath. Lee Hip is out.